for three. So we used to bully three and all of them when we was little. Like, and I'm talking about six and seven days. Mm -hmm. You know, so by the time we 10 and 11, my big cousin's thugging like he thugging. Like, I got a big cousin named Big D in jail 23 years. And like, that's three. Like, with the you know, gangster side, you see three, that's three. That's where he get that from. We was raised in the same house for like five years. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Go ahead, baby. So, um, you were raised with three, right? Yeah, for sure. Growing up. How was he like a kid, like as a kid growing up? Like, when we were babies, he was probably like, you know, a little baby. Because he's like, older than you or younger? Yeah, he's two years older than me, but okay. he's like a baby Michael Jackson and shit. But like, you know, growing up, he was cool. He funny. He, he, he people person. He really what you see when you see it. Like, I'm talking about like the going live and the clowning and the laughing and stuff. That's what he was growing up. Like, in the bad side, like, he a Gemini, so you get mm -hmm. this sour patch. You know, I got both of them growing up. Like, he he really was what he was, though. Like, I remember when he when his life switched, when his mind switched, and we was young as hell, like, before 9 and 10, like, his mind was on it because it's, like, the way we was raised, that's what we was around. But, like, he was good. Like, his heart good, his soul good. You know, like he said on one interview, like, people just turn them to what y'all see. But, like, behind the smoking mirrors that he, he read. Were you always running behind? You know how little brother yeah, be yeah. trying to run I behind, behind trying to do everything he do? I ran behind do? him uh, to his last days. Shit. Like the day before that, I was in. I flew to Cali trying to meet up with his mm. ass. But he had flew back. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's my You like, said until he changed. Do you know what changed him? Nah, I be. I, I, I kind of know. I kind of think about certain stuff. But, like, I just. I think now because I got kids, it's just be your environment. Like the stuff that you need at a certain age. Like, you know, when you young and you a baby, you blind to a lot of shit. I mean, my bad, you blind to a lot of stuff. But once you get to like nine and 10 for real, like depending on where your environment, like, cause he been, we've been thugging like that for a minute, you start realizing different stuff and stuff that you want and stuff that you ain't got. Or for like three, you see, people used to mess with three, three was little, three used to, people used to bully three and all that when we was little. Like, I'm talking about six and seven days. Mm -hmm. You know, so by the time we 10 and 11, my big cousin's thugging like he thugging. Like, I got a big cousin named Big D in jail 23 years. And like, that's three. Like, with the you know, gangster side, you see three, that's three. That's where he get that from. We was raised in the same house for like five years. But, uh. No, the reason why I was asking you that, because, all right, like, I was not raised in that environment or nothing yeah. like that. But a lot of people who come on here, I learn from other people, and I always ask these questions. But I've met some people who been raised in those type of environment and don't end up, you know, Thug. Like that, yeah. Right. I, that's what I So, want. does it mean that because you're in that certain environment, that's how you gonna be? No, nah, hell no. Nah. It just be like, what you want to be, he wanted to be what he is. Like, we used to argue about, I used to be like, bro, that street car, that gangster shit cool. Like, you go, you know, they tell you you're gonna go, you're gonna die, go to jail. Mm -hmm. like, we used to argue about that as little kids, like, 10 and 8. Like, real no cap. But, like, that's what he wanted to be. So, like, what you see outside is what you want to be for real. Like what you see on TV is what you want to be for real. So if ain't nobody showing you nothing different, like three was cold at basketball, three was smart and all that, but that ain't what he wanted to be. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like it depends on what these kids want to be and like what they showing. That's why I try to cut you out because I'm on some different. Shit. I know what it look like with me, but like that ain't what I used to want to be. Like I made myself go to school and do all that because that's what I really wanted to be. But that's back to the environment. Like. My mama don't know how to take me to go sign up for fast food. My mama don't know how to get me in these classes to finish early. So when I try to do it, it don't work. And then going naturally, I'm for the jump to what I know. Because it's easy. This is what I raised seeing all my life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.